A Paralympic swimmer who says she was forced to pull out of the games has roots in central Pennsylvania, where she swam for FM College. Fox 43's Harry Lee joining us now live from the college in Lancaster to explain why Becca Myers is no longer heading to Tokyo and how her former coach is reacting to it. Meyer said that she went from swimming here at FNM to racing internationally. Now her withdrawal from the 2020 Games has sparked an international conversation about disability rights. Becca Myers can't hear the starting buzzer, so a flash of a light is when she dives in. And in her two years at FNM College, Myers didn't train that differently from other swimmers. In many ways, it's the same. You know, it's uh, each individual swimmer pushing themselves, trying to be their best, and in Becca's case, she's one of the hardest workers I've ever coached. Myers has Usher syndrome, which causes deafness and progressive sight loss. It hasn't stopped her from earning six medals at the last two Paralympics and qualifying for this year's Games. When traveling, her mother acts as a personal care assistant to help navigate new surroundings, like Tokyo. But amid drastic COVID restrictions, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee told her she couldn't bring a PCA. Disabilities rights advocates quickly condemned the decision. This is not a level playing field anymore. I mean, now they're choosing which disability has the right to their supportive device, whatever that looks like. Myers also protested the ruling by pulling out of the games on Tuesday. Having firsthand knowledge on how much swimming means to Becca and how much effort and time she's put into it. To have her be forced into this terrible decision to pull out of the games um, so close to it, like I said, it's heartbreaking. The U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee said in a statement, the decisions we've made on behalf of the team have not been easy, and we are heartbroken for athletes who are unable to have their previous support resources available. Meyer said in her Twitter post that she was heartbroken and it was a gut-wrenching decision to have to withdraw from the Games, but that she was doing it so that she could speak up for future Paralympic athletes. Live in Lancaster, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.